come on this very short update on one of the new features in AOS 5.17, AHV Synchronous Replication. So what do we need to get started? We need at least two Prism Central instances. So you see I have a primary site over here and I have a secondary Prism Central instance with one cluster registered in over here. So the first thing we have to do to get synchronous replication up and running is pair these two Prism Central instances. So this can be done within the Availability Zone section. So within Availability Zones, you'll see that I have my two Prism Centrals listed, one as being the local Availability Zone, one as my remote Prism Central. Type is physical, it is reachable. The next thing that we need to do is set up a protection policy. So protection policy, when we dive in here, you'll see that there's already a couple of them created. Let me sort them, for example, by RPO. You see that I've got a gold availability zone, type is synchronous. There's a silver, there's a bronze one, each with different RPOs, different remote uh, retentions and local retentions for the amount of snapshots that they take. So when we take a deeper look inside the gold protection policy, give this a couple of seconds, we will see that, so we have our name, its primary location, the recovery location of our protection policy, which each their respective clusters. And then you obviously you'll see the difference with asynchronous or synchronous replication and the failure handling um, system or uh, mechanism in the background. Uh, you can, if you want to also work with categories so that if you assign a category to a VM, it is automatically protected um, by making use of the category system or I would say as we use uh, within this video, we'll assign this protection policy manually to a VM. So let's cancel here. So let's go to our VM section, give this a couple of seconds, loading my VMs and I will find my demo VMs. So you'll see we have two VMs here, TomVDB1 and 3. I could, for example, uh, switch my focus to data protection and put them into a tile section so we can clearly see that we have one VM, the number 3, which is at this point properly syncing between my two sites. Um, it is protected by this gold policy and it sits within a specific recovery plan. More on that later on. So if we want to protect the VM now, we can simply take this VM, go into actions and for example, say protect. Then we get a list of our protection policies, take for example, our gold policy and say protect. So now in the background, you will see this will take some time, but in the end, this VM will get into a synced state by our gold policy um, and we can add it at a uh, recovery plan at that point without no problem. So going to our recovery plan, this basically is the plan that if things go wrong or you would like to test a couple of things that you'll need to create. So updating this existing recovery plan. So obviously it has a name. The VM that is already protected is inside of this recovery plan. And obviously the last step is our network setting. So we have a stretched VLAN 102 in this scenario that is alive on site one as on um, site two on our recovery site. So we have our plan ready as well. Um, so the only thing we now have to do is let's go back to our VM list here. So you'll see my, my two VMs are still on my primary site. So you'll see this one is starting to get synced. I can, for example, take a look inside the VM. You'll see if I go to recovery points, again, my proper policies, my recovery points at the local site, my remote Prism Central, 
Um, I can, for example, open up here and say I would like to see snapshots from all locations, etc. So properly well done um, from that point of view. All right, so let's assume we want to migrate this VM to my other sites. So let's take this VM demo tree. So we go to our remote site, right? our secondary Prism Central instance. I'll go to my recovery plan and you'll see this exactly as we defined it on our primary site. So we have our the same name, but obviously now the source is our primary site. The destination is our local availability zone. So I can go in and, for example, say, let's do a failover. So failover from our primary site to our local availability zone, one VM failover. Give this a couple of seconds. So our failover is initiated. I can, for example, take a look inside my plan. Go to tasks, failover, include my queue tasks. So again, you'll see our recovery plan. We're migrating and at the last stage it is powering on that VM. If I would go back to my first site, you will start to see that this VM will disappear and it will reappear at the secondary site as we're doing a planned migration. So you see it has disappeared. Going back to my secondary site, let me close this window, go to my VM list. And you'll see that we have our VM TomVDB demo tree alive on the secondary site and it's starting to get alive, it is powered on. So by now we have properly migrated AVM from site one to site two as a planned migration. Thank you very much.